okay so hello everyone so in this video we are gonna answer we're gonna solve the problem regarding the exponential growth or the population growth in mathematics in the modern world so we have here an example growth model of a is equal to 15 e raised to 0 0.05 t describes the population of a city and in malaysia in thousands three years after 2000s so we have here two questions what is the population after 11 and a half year and the second one what will be the population in 2023 okay so let's do first of the first questions we have uh, okay so what is the population after 11 and a half year okay so let's um get the exponential growth model in the problem we have uh, a is equal to 15 e raised to 0 0.05 t okay so originally the formula of the exponential growth model is uh, a is equal to p times e raised to r times t so whereas t a would be the shun size and p is the initial number of people r would be the rate of growth and t would be the time and e is the uh, euler constant uh, which is the value is 2.718 okay okay so we know that the t the value of t is 11 and a half year meaning 11.5 okay now let's substitute the value of t okay then um, 15e raised to 0 0.05 times 11.5 okay para mas madali siya let's uh, get the calculator and put the data Okay, 0 0.05 times 11.5 would be okay so 0 0.575 okay so copy okay so again 0 0.05 times 11.5 would be 0 0.575 now um, 15 year is to 0 0.575 so, pwede naman natin ilagay yung value ng Euler constant. Okay. So, where's the value is 2.718 uh, raised to 0 0.575. So, if we're going to input it to the calculator. So, raise natin siya. The answer would be Okay. 1.7770 Okay. So, we run off lang natin siya. So, 1.7770. Okay, next. Uh, multiply 15 times 1.770. Again, use the calculator. Okay, the answer would be 26.655. Okay, 26.655. Now, is this the final answer? Okay, so hindi pa. Uh, balik tayo doon sa problem sabi uh, in thousands okay thousands so just simply move the decimal point okay we have one two three therefore so a the population would be 26,655 okay so Therefore, ito yung final na sagot sa letter A. Okay, so next, let's do solve the second question. What will be the population in 2023? Okay, so read again the problem. Okay, so what will be the, the value of T? Ah, by the way, copy the exponential growth model in the problem. So, mas madali siya kasi meron na siyang uh, meron ng value yung 
yung initial number of people. Okay, so a is equal to 15e raised to 0 0.05 times t. Again, t, in order to get the value of t or the time, just simply subtract 2023 and 2000. Okay, so 2023 minus 2000, of course, 23. Next, I'll reach the values. Okay, so 20, um, 15 a raised to 0 0.05 times 23. Okay, so multiply 0 0.05 times 23. Okay, yung power ng e, we have... Okay, use calculator again para mas madali. So, answer would be 1.15. Okay? Okay, so 1.15. Okay, next, we can also substitute the value of the Euler's constant. Okay, so 0 0.05 times 1.15. Okay, so multiply natin. Okay, answer would be, okay. Okay, so, uh, sorry, uh, we also, 1 point, okay. So, nakuha na natin yung kanina. We have 0 0.05 times 3 is 1.15. So, wala na yung 0 0.05. Okay, next. Um, erase natin. Using calculator, 2.718 raised to 1.15. So, equal to... Okay. 3.1578 or 3.1578. Okay, now, um, multiply 15 times 3.38. Okay, answer would be 47.367. Okay, so again, multiply 15 times 3.1578. Answer would be 47.367. Okay, again, in thousands, just simply move the uh, decimal okay kasi thousand that long zero diba okay next therefore ang um, population in 2023 we've got to 7,367 uh, okay so that is the final answer